Hey, it's me, Team Farrell, back with another short tutorial for Cinema 4D. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up a Pulse library for Cinema 4D without the Pulse library manager, the new manager in Cinema 4D. So you can use it also with versions below 25 and so forth. Yeah, here right away here in Cinema 4D, um, the Pulse library manager or Pulse, the Pulse library was introduced uh, with version 23. I was looking forward uh, as I heard about it and this was the reason, this was one reason why I purchased the Perpetual License for Cinema 4D 23 and as soon as I tried it I was that disappointed about this post library thing. It was not finished yet and uh, yeah it was uh, totally inconvenient and laborious to set up and also in production some workarounds were uh, uh, um, uh, were uh, uh, necessary. So yes, I do not like this pose library functionality in Cinema 4D. So I came up with a workaround for Cinema 4D and with some, uh, yeah, it's not a workaround, it's, it works. So you can do your own, you can make your own post library without using this thing. And it's pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So here I have a character object. I have from that's studio. I do not know how to pronounce it right. So um, this is a character. I prepared so it has no control rig but it has it is weighted to cho to joints um, so that I can pose it so here I have the character this is the female character this is yeah everything I need and so the first the attempt uh, the attempt uh, the approach I do it in I do it in this way I first create a null object so and call this poses this should be a child so when you save it that it is also saved in your file um, and then I create another null object and call this my first pose and maybe idle stand and two poses we need just we just need this waiting um, tag here so I control drag it onto my idle stand and it has all joints inside which are yeah binded to the character so if you control the character with control objects then you should um yeah drag all the object inside of this thing here and so now i begin to pose here my character quickly just like that uh, a quick posing and that's it uh, it's a little bit difficult to get here all the things here yeah Quick pose for the character, maybe like this. And now I just pose here and this leg here. Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay, this is my first pose for the character. And now I set here, I, I say here, set bind pose. So it's cool we have your first pose. So when you have your character reset pose, we are here. And now I click here on my poses and say here idle stand and say here reset bind pose. And he jumps right away back, instantly back to this safe pose. So this is pretty cool and if I want to create another pose I simply copy this idle stand and pose it 
bring it in another pose, maybe like this. She's now, oh, this was not good. Bring her into another pose. Ah, I always get this wrong joint here. So yeah, like this. She shows her feet now and is wondering why they are stinking. Yeah, and then I save this into the set bind pose and yeah. At any time I need this pose now, I can call this reset bind pose and so forth. The problem now with this method is, so this waiting tag saves in the world coordinates. So the problem is now this channel is female um, parent object is not in this, uh, in this uh, um, in exclude data thing in this list. So this is not saved inside. So we can drag this character object here in the world position. And when I set now reset bind pose, you see the character jumps back to the null object. But this is pretty inconvenient because uh, this is pretty, pretty uh, bad because when we pose our character anywhere in our scene and we want just to reset the poses, then this doesn't work. We always have to drag the character on the, null, uh, on the zero uh, world world uh, coordinates zero and this is pretty inconvenient. So what we can do is we bring our thing back to the original point and then we call our bind pose. And what we can do now is we say this is zero, this is okay, but now we tell our first object here or all object which are inside the post library if it's neat but this is the parent object in this case so it's it just needs uh, to uh, it does it just applies to this one so I simply take this hip object and say here freeze all and I now I freeze the coordinates and now when I drag here the uh, character and say here okay idle stand reset bind pose he jumps right he jumps back to this thing but now I can uh, choose my hip and simply say here uh, tools and reset P's are and instantly he jumps here to my uh, thing and this is for every pose I need to do here. I have this pose and then I say just uh, reset PSR and now this works. So this is the method you can do this in this way. If you want to do a post to post library from scratch, uh, you simply, uh, yeah, you simply create here this uh, rigging thing, your post to post, wait tag here, and mouse, middle mouse button, and you select all the children's here. Oh, Cinema 4D is crashing now. Uh, and drag all the objects inside. And now it also works here. This method works with every object, with every object, not not just uh, not only uh, um, joints. It's also working with cubes or everything you need to pose in a in a certain way. So yes, this was my tutorial for Cinema 4D, and I hope it helps. And yeah, have fun with it, and see you later. Goodbye. Secret love, you'll be mine. I can see.